Tolozani, 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 everybody, Tolozani, Tolozani, Siapongam Kiza here. Tolozani, everybody, Tolozani, Tolozani, hope you guys are all well. Um, I just want to make sure that, okay, all right, Tolozani, everybody, Tolozani, everyone, uh, ba ba ba, everyone, Tolozani, Tolozani, guys, Tolozani. Please, can you let me know that we have good connectivity, that we have, um, that the sound, you can, uh, you guys can all hear me, you can see the slides. Please, can you all just let me know before I continue with today's talk that we don't, we're not having any, any issues or any technical issues. If you can just please let me know um, in the comments section. Um, okay, we've got two minutes, so in two minutes we'll begin. Let's just give it two minutes, please. Um, two minutes will start. So we'll start at about at 12 o'clock. We'll start at 12. We'll start at 12. All right. So we're going to start Okay, we we we're going to we're going to start in about 2 minutes. So let's just give it 2 more minutes and then we'll start there. Mm.
All right. <clears throat> okay, everybody, I think we can begin. I think we can begin. Um, all right, cool, everybody. So I think we can begin. So first of all, talk about everybody. Hope you guys are having an absolutely beautiful day, and you guys, I hope you're all well, right? Um, so first of all, um, this was initially intended to be a closed session for my subscriber group, but this is going to be an introduction, very top of the level layer kind of session um that i'm going to have with you guys here live on facebook and what i'm going to do for the guys that are on my subscriber group they're going to get a second session on their own i'm also going to give them access to slides and notes they're also going to get access to those as well and of course they're going to get discounts to online sessions as well so what you're seeing here is more of an introduction very level very light level or rather entry level kind of understanding of soul ties and i should have put there actually soul mates and please don't worry about load shedding i have two backup power supplies so should anything happen if i get load shedded which i shouldn't be load shedded till four o'clock but should anything happen i will still be able to continue with the session it might be it might go glitchy for a bit but then we'll come back all right so um standard rules applies guys unfortunately i can't actually speak to any of you and ask you questions but i can answer all your questions here in the actual in the actual comments so whenever you have a comment whilst i'm on that particular slide whilst i am um whilst i'm on a particular slide if i've gone past the slide feel free to ask it i don't mind going back all right so let us tuck into today's program so the reason why i want us to understand soulmates and soul ties and the difference between the two because this lecture actually is a continuation from last week's lecture or talk that I gave on relationships and spirituality. So if you missed that one on relationships and spirituality, you might want to go back to my page and actually go back on my page and see there was a there was a 10 minute talk, I think it was about 10 or 11 minutes that I gave on relationships and spirituality, right? Someone's asking, how do we subscribe? Just there's a link in one of the posts that I put up, right? You click there, you subscribe, it's only 80 Rand a month literally it's just, and i the only reason it's 80 rand a month for these classes is because that is the cheapest it is literally the cheapest option on facebook as well as youtube it doesn't get any cheaper than that so 79 rand 99 i think it is so we're gonna start off with the differences between soul ties and soul mates because there's a big difference between the two and you constantly hear abandon they speak about no um canceling soul ties or oh, this person is my soul mate what is the difference between the two? how do we distinguish between soul ties and soul mates and why is it so important that we distinguish between the two because regardless of whether or not you want to find love or be in love or you're happy single or unhappy single it is important to understand the two then being born in cow or being born with the spirit or imimoya of umuntu and the connection that it has with soulmates, because what you are, what I'm going to explain today is you're going to see that there is your autonomy and agency, that is the mind, right? Then there is the spirit. So I am attracted to my love, I want to marry my love, I am getting killed to my love. That is my autonomy and agency. But if then can want someone else. But at the same time, there's types of Ugzalawembet. I explained in my video that Ugzalawembet, where you are born with the spirit of a baby that was aborted or miscarried before your birth. I'm going to get into that in just a bit. Then the most important slide, where there are 101 rumors in Kolomo opinions on intimacy and spirituality. Then how do we remove and disconnect? these soul ties. And I'm going to explain to you why it's so important that we disconnect specifically soul ties. All right. So what is a soul tie and what is a soul mate? Okay. I'll say with a soul tie. We'll see what exactly is a soul tie. A soul tie is a spiritual or emotional connection or passage 
right? That is created with the intention of having access to the individual. Now, the reason why I say it is a connection or a passage and it is access that doesn't have to be solely for them is because this is something that is typically not, um, you're not born soul tied to someone else. You are not born connected to someone else, but it is, a, it is something that is created usually with the assistance of imiti or impande, right? That you create the soul tie between yourself and someone else. Now, a lot of the times people are under the impression that we create these soul ties for love. Okay, I want this person to be with me, right? Which is an absolute fallacy. Kuna bandu out here who want to have access to you all the time, whenever they want, however they want, regardless of whomever is in your life. So the concept or the idea that umuntu seven DC his or umuntu seven DC corobella or umuntu um with because there is love is is incorrect. Sometimes, okay, let me give you an example. If I see that you are very successful, right? And when I'm intimate with you, I'm taking from that and I'm bringing it to my side, right? I don't care who we are married to. I just want to always have access to you so that I can be intimate with you. So I want you to always be connected to me. So with this card, a soul tie is created with the intention of facilitating uktwala. Or a soul tie is created with the intention of facilitating ukaga. Right? So not all, people don't always want soul ties for love. And it needs to be created, but at initially there needs to be access granted. So I need to give myself, give that person access to myself, my body, and my spirit. Okay, it can be destructible, and it's very difficult. It can be difficult to leave those situations. Right? It can be very difficult. So you sometimes find, yes, there is a spiritual, there is a mental component. Right, I'm focusing on the spiritual bit. What you will sometimes find is individuals are struggling to move past. A particular individual. Now, to move past a particular individual or toxic situation or relationship, you need both therapy and spiritual intervention. Spiritual intervention is not enough on its own if, when you have not mentally worked past the point to the point where you can say, I am not answering that person's phone call, I am blocking them, I am not giving them access to me. If you mentally are not at the position to not grant that person access to you, the spiritual intervention that myself or any other healer or one of the healers that I work with does is going to be futile because and when are you going to go back to them and give them access to you back to square one right now what it is what is the trick with soul ties you see the thing is with soul ties is that it is not designed to remove your free will and agency now I want to explain this a bit because it, it seems confusing so creating a soul tie is actually not designed to remove your free will and agency. It's not. I want you to have free will. I want you to have free will to choose to come to me when I want you to. Right? So and it, it's different. Free will and the right to choose, right? Or if someone points a gun at you and says, jump left, there's no free will there, right? That's, that's, that's different. However, I want you to willingly give yourself to me so that I can do what I need to do. That is the intention of the soul tie. A soul tie, or let me say this, ukang, or if umundu is using you, requires your agency and requires you to consent for you to willingly give yourself to them. So when they create the soul tie with the intention of access, you must willingly choose to be with them. You willingly choose to go left instead of right. Okay? That doesn't make sense. Right? Now, the good news with soul ties is that they can be broken by a healer. But 60 to 70% of severing the soul tie is stopping to giving this person access, to, denying them access to you. Because remember, Babuetu, this thing is synthetic. It's not real. It's not founded on, 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 
on purity. It is not found. It is not God-given, right? Therefore, you need to replenish. That's what we're saying. Yes, you need to replenish. You need to bring back to life. So every time you go back to that person, you do your thing, they're bringing it back to life. You do your thing, you're bringing it back to life. You do your thing, they bring it back to life. Hence, I said in the beginning, access is everything with a soul tie. A soul tie, most of the time, well, to a degree, if you can starve the person access to you, then it is the beginnings of the death of the soul tie. The soul tie is very dependent on access. And if you can deny access, right, then 60 to 70% of the battle is won. Let's answer some of these questions. Togoza, I, there we go. I love this app. Togoza, I love my ex baby that I refuse to cleanse because already we are better. Do I have two soul ties to a living person? Because, wow, I can't let go. 10 years this year. Um, church asks Gopi. I always answer he's ghosting me. We are soul tied. Why does he hate me? But wait. Not if you can't move past somebody, right? It doesn't always mean that it's a spiritual thing, right? It's okay. Look, you refusing to cleanse, right? Makes things makes the mental okay. Let me articulate myself more clearly. You cannot fight a battle on two fronts. You cannot fight the spiritual battle of the possibility of there being a soul tie, but at the same time, emotionally and mentally. You have not worked past the relationship. You have not built your life past the point of the breaking up period, right? You're fighting a battle on two fronts. You refusing to cleanse means that you are going to divide your efforts. If I were you, I would cleanse and and then cleansing, what it does is it gives you certainty that if I cannot find love and I cannot move past this point, it's because of me and my mental state, not because of the spiritual matter. That is what I'm saying to everybody. I am not saying that African spirituality and spirituality is the cure and the be all and end all. I am saying it is one less front on which to have a battle. Right? So I, I would advise Esther, get the cleansing done. Okay? Or if you don't want to go for a full cleansing, get one of our herbs. We have our herb called Amatunzi. Okay? Amatunzi, 250 if you buy it by itself, and then 100 rand extra, 350 if we ship it. But if you buy two for 500, then maybe I'd say Amatunzi and then throw in, um, let's say, Istrito, right? Not because you have Istrito, but because it's got the elements that can fight off Izindo, Zokang, right? So I would say cleanse for three days with those two and then do the mental work, right? You can try that because sometimes people cleansing with the blood of an animal, yeah, well, whether it be a chicken or a goat, it can be overwhelming. So maybe try that. Maybe consider that if that's going to um, if that's going to be easier to ease your way into cleansing. Okay. Can our ancestors connect us to certain people to gain some sort of power from their bloodline? I'm going to explain this. This question is going to be answered beautifully in the next slide when I explain what a soul mate is. Um, okay, that's a comment. Um, Kulu, does your 010, 010 number still work? Yes, it does work, but my assistant has been sick for about three, four days now, and she's the one that takes care of it, but she's better now, and she'll be back on Monday. All right. So, then you have a soul mate. A soul mate, right? A soul mate has a spiritual history or significance. It is what you are born or predisposed to. I'm going to give you an example, right? This is either where individuals or spirits have previously loved one another or there is history between the two surnames. Let me give you an example, right? My my wife is this bomb second job, okay? Kanti ukoko ozala ukoko ozala ubab, my grandmother. The reason why we use the surname Kise, her mother is as well and then there's another Yovu a little higher up same with Yamini there's actually three or four Yaminis that got married to the Mkiza family or well, my part of the Mkiza family so Kushuguti myself and my brother will be predisposed based on Isbong and based on how many people Kushuguti if there's many people from Abaga Yovu and Abaga Yamini that have married into the Mkiza family Kushuguti the relationship is good right so Kusimis Kati Ijo says you know what we've had a good relationship. Well, you know what? The women that have come from 
the um, the Mtembo family uh, have, have treated us very well. Let us go find Umunyu Makoti. Right? Or you find that, let us go find Umunyu Makoti Waganjov. That is something what you would call a soulmate. Or my actual individual spirit and that person's spirit. Because remember, if meaning Zaling Mbete, Ikesha, and the woman I'm meeting was Zaling Mbete, Isalgwazi, if Lelo Kesha and Lelo Salgwazi many, many years ago were in love, then were predisposed to wanting to be together. Okay? It's not destructive, but it is not enough on its own for a long lasting relationship. Your soulmate doesn't always have to become the one you spend the rest of your life with. Yash and I repeat. Being someone's soulmate is not enough. The connection is what we are born with. Our behavior, our actions, how we treat one another is what is going to build the connection, what is going to foster the connection, what is going to strengthen the connection. The reason why so many people are struggling to understand you are with this person right? You love this person. You have dreams where your ancestors love him. He has dreams where your ancestors love, love yourself, right? But what is it? It is because your mental and emotional maturity, right, doesn't result in you behaving in such a way that you foster and grow the connection, right? Love is what grows the connection between soulmates, right? And protecting that love. Very, very important, which is going to my next point. Soulmates are more vulnerable than soul ties to spiritual attack. Soulmates are more vulnerable to soul ties than spiritual attacks. And why is that? That is because when we see the connection that, when we see the connection that is God-given, that is blessed by God, right? We want the same connection, but at the same time, we don't want to become the kind of person that finds that connection, right? That is why I'm saying someone, that's what I'm saying, uh, that, that, that point number six there, becoming the one is more important than finding the one, but I'm gonna come to that in just a bit. What I'm saying to you guys is, why do I say soulmates are more vulnerable than soul ties to spiritual attacks? It's, it's very similar. Two reasons. One is spiritual. One is social. Right? And you see it on social media. We love the idea of... I think we love the idea of black wealth. We absolutely love it. Right? We love the idea of love as well, black love. And then when we see someone succeed, when we see someone be happy in a relationship, okay, we then begin to question how they make the money. We then begin to accuse them, what about twin? We then begin to say, oh no, they're tender babies, right? But this whole time, you wanted black wealth. There was an, a prime example, there was a lady on, on, I think it was a white lady on, on, on Twitter, who posted that every single morning, her, she and her husband like to sit under the tree and have a full breakfast and a cup of coffee till 10. And social media went absolutely crazy. They said it will end in tears. They called it privilege. And it was just insult after insult after insult. But at the same time, we also sit at home saying, why can't we find love? Why aren't we happy? Do, do, do you see what I'm saying? So that's the social reason, right? That's the social reason. The Spiritual reason. Soulmates. The reason two soulmates have come together is because the reason for that is going to be that will not be divulged to anyone, even if the family has a healer or a seer or a prophet or intended. The reason behind the union between these two people, and they do not wish to divulge that, right? For now, and the reason they don't divulge that is because when we know, when we know, we destroy. 
you are better off not knowing the reason behind these two soulmates being brought together now in this time. And then do not get involved in Upaza Misa, the plans of Ishots. Inkinga, especially young people, as bigger than that, is we have friends, we have family, right? That are interfering in Izinto Zechos. This also goes to you in 256 of you here. In the event that you know or there is a reunion or a relationship that you are trying to separate, and Ijozi is going to retaliate and protect itself, right? It's, Ijozi is like an immune system. When it is under attack, it protects itself, right? So some of you, Izindo Zeng, are not going south because of the third hand, are not going south because of the problem itself. It's because in some way, shape or form, whether it be a friend, a brother, a sister, a cousin or whomever, or you are trying to get in the way. I am not saying don't give your friend good counsel. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you see your friend flourishing, if you see them blossoming and they are happy and they are wholesome and they are healthy, let them be. Now where your turn will come. Goes for goes for O Andy, Naomaluma as well. They are seeing Abashana getting married, but your children aren't getting married. Right? But at the same time, they're extremely hard to break up. Okay? Typically only they can break themselves up. Like I said, they can break themselves up. Okay? In other words, by not respecting one another and loving one another in such a way that the connection grows stronger, then it's going to be very, they are the only ones that can break themselves up. Finally, Bagwetu. Everybody asks me, I don't think a day goes by where I do not have a session where someone says, Siabonga, how do I become the one? Or how do I find the one? And I tell them all the, all the time, becoming the one is more important than finding the one. Too many of you are trying to find the one instead of becoming the one. You need to become the person that is worthy of the relationship that you want. I hope that makes sense. You need to become the person that is worthy of the relationship that you want. <sighs> Let me make an example. Quite a few men come up to me and they're like, no, Siawonga, I'm a great guy. I'm making money. I'm like this, you know, what I want to do, do it. And they want a very traditional woman. They're like, no, women are too modern. They don't want to cook. They don't want to do this. They don't want to look up the children, whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. If you want a very traditional woman, are you a very traditional man? Are you comfortable with being a traditional provider? Okay? And then all of a sudden, but you know, but then I need to see first if she's if she likes money. Yabona, I can't be with someone who's with me for the money. And I'm like, that is not the words that a traditional man speaks. So you can always see it. You can, you know, in the first 10 minutes of speaking to someone, you can you can always see that what they want and who they are, are in complete misalignment. Before you fix it on finding your soulmate or the one, you need to also take time to say, am I the one? Would I marry me? You know, if I were a woman, or if I were a man, or if I was, yeah, well. And then that is the, so becoming the one is more important than finding one. Now, do you have to end up with your soulmate to have a long lasting loving relationship? No, no you do not. There are many people who are together for many, many years and they are happy and they are not with their soulmate. They may have dated their soulmate, but their soulmate was not, didn't actually foster the relationship or they didn't foster the relationship in such a way that the connection grows and they separated. You don't always have to start out as the one that Ijozi likes. But you can always become the one that Ijozi likes. Right? You can change your mind, Ijozi's mind or opinion about someone. Kusinius Kati Ijozi can be like, no, I'm not, we're not really interested in this particular gentleman or this woman. Then when we are Pasha, don't ignore them. Pasha, what's it called? 
Gabona, thank you very much for coming back to me. But I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, like give us a chance. Give him or her a chance to prove themselves and show you that we are good for each other. I am good for him and he is good for me. Yabo. Don't just ignore the dream from the dreams. And then what you will find is that each of these of Nigeza, they'll give you both an opportunity. And then we can take it from there. All right. Let's answer some more questions. Okay. Can the herbs work for cleansing if you never did an abortion or miscarriage? Okay, guys. The cleansing herbs in Delezi and Amatunzi, right, are very, very, and I repeat, they are temporary. Mainly made for post-intimacy. Maybe you're a man, or maybe you're a man and you're not sure if the woman you're sleeping with has had an abortion or miscarriage, you can cleanse with that. Or you're a woman and you're not sure if the man you're sleeping with has had abortions or miscarriages with other women, you can cleanse with that. But it will not replace Ikazinyongomswane of a four-legged animal. That does not replace that. It's not a substitute. Togos, I have an ex-boyfriend whom I dream of every time he's in danger. I've been praying for him for years to get help, but he keeps on dating ladies who use multi on him. Now I'm tired because every month I dream about him. What makes me dream about him? You keep going back to him. You keep going back to him. I'm not talking about emotionally. I'm saying when you've done your job of passing on the messages, why do you keep passing on the messages if he doesn't listen to you, right? And it's when I, and it's, this is Eagles. Eagles he has given you in Kulum, right? Eagles he has given you in Kulum. Whether you've gone and you've passed it on. That particular person is not doing anything about the message that you've received, right? And then Eagles is like, okay, if she's going to continue to pass on the messages, we're going to continue giving her messages to pass on. If when you say ka bandabadala, thank you, upahit bandabadala, thank you very much for the messages you showed me about my ex. Saying Zamile, I've tried to pass the messages on, but he continues to do um that which puts him in danger. I am no manje ukuti. I do not pass his messages on. Seguanel yabok. So you are acknowledging the fact that they've given you the um the thing, the, the messages. You are also telling them that look, I've been down this road before. But enough is enough. I'm tired. This is where I hop off the train. And guess what happens? You stop dreaming about him. Because Manji Eagles, he sees you going back to give him messages. So they're like, okay, if she's doing it, then let's keep giving her more messages to, to pass on. Right? Nkuru Tokoze, is it okay to cleanse every time after being intimate? I use coarse salt and holy ash. Is that fine um so it depends on what kind of intimacy you're talking about is it a situation ship yes i would is it a relationship mm, maybe once every two three months yeah but with inmates because it's a relationship if it's a marriage mm, maybe once every year or so it, it depends yeah but if if it's one night stands then definitely after every one night stand i would um Coarse salt and holy ash is good. Holy ash is great, especially if you're abroad and you're in other countries and you can't get a hold of Indeles or Amatuns. Holy ash, holy ash is very good. Does holy ash help with Amatuns in a post intimacy? I'll have to get back to you on that one. I have to get back to you on that one. Um, so it's like a twin, it's a flame twin kind of thing. Can you touch on that? So I wouldn't call it a twin flame, especially because it uses the, the reason why I don't like the term twin flame is because it uses the word twin right? Twin spiritually means one spirit in two bodies. So I have no idea how people came up with the whole, how can you use, I don't know how people associated soulmates and twin flames, but the, the very premise of the word, the, 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 the word twin means one spirit, two bodies. Yeah, well, so it's not that you are one spirit in two bodies. You are two very separate entities spiritually that are that are coming to, that are coming together. So I'm not sure how they even came up with that concept or that term of the twin flame. <sighs> okay, sorry guys, I'm 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 really sick and it is just and I've got sinusitis, so it is just it 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 really really just flares up my sinus. So since I met my husband, we've been suffering from infections. They started six months into our relationship. We got nine. 
We got married in nine months of knowing each other. After that, the infections got worse. Now to the point where we haven't had sex in five months, but my infections are are escalating. Nothing with this or medical is working. Could this be a spiritual attack or what? Um, it might not be a spiritual attack, and it might be spiritual tension, right? In the sense that if when I me more, but finally we that's why the infections are coming about. Sometimes it's very quick to say, oh no, it's a it's a it's a spiritual attack, but it actually might just be spiritual tension manifesting and quicker and then it was like But again, there's a lot of deep intimate things um in this one that I need I need a a couple session with the two of you so that we can actually unpack. There's quite a few layers in this comment over here. All right. Um could I have been dating this guy? His grandmother always comes in my dreams with the man's warning to instruct me to pass those messages on. She is also protective in most dreams to both of us, yet we are not married. That confuses me as much as I have never met her um, when she was alive. No, that shouldn't confuse you. You know, that's a good sign. They can see you, they recognize you, and they also know that sometimes if you want to protect um, they want to protect their son or their child. They need to send the message through the girlfriend. Yeah, well, because men, we, you know, we will always listen, not always listen, but we'll always give you an ear and give you the time to speak to us. Yeah, well, so it does happen from time to time, regardless of being married, it will happen. Sometimes it does happen prior to, to marriage even um, taking place. Okay, so, but it's a good sign. It's a good thing. Um... All right, and Kulu, my ex whom I have a child with, is um, has Ung um, um, saying that no man will stay with me except him. No relationship lasts in my life. Who can help me cleanse or medicine can I use? Um, where are you based? Let me know. Send me a DM. Send us an email where you're based and we can send you to someone. Um, is it possible if friends or family separated your relationship? You're likely to get back if you want to get back together you can get back look here's the thing with soulmates right being a soulmate you have to be a rabid pit bull when it comes to protecting when it comes to sorry protecting your relationship so sometimes and this is why it's so important and that's what i wanted to say we confuse soulmates protecting their relationships for a soul tie. When we see a man vehemently and adamantly protect his wife from both family and friends, right, that are unhealthy to their peace, we immediately assume what's huh? when we see a man, When we see a woman do the same thing, we think Uguti it's because of money or um um right? We confuse soulmates that are protecting their union for soul ties that have been made with Ihiso or Ikorobel. When what we sh when what when what actually is happening is that they have seen sorry, what I want to say is what actually is happening is they have made a decision of where to have peace and where to have war. I think Nipsey Hussle said it. He said, you can either have peace at home, you can either be at war with the world, right, and have peace at home, or you can have war at home and be at peace with the world. Sometimes soulmates have chosen to have peace at home, but have war with the world because they are protecting what is at home. There is a bubble. So you can see what's going on inside in their lives, but you can never penetrate and enter their lives and their personal space, right? So is it possible for, for you guys to get back together again if friends or family separated? Yes. But are you willing to go to the lens of protecting it the second time round in a way that you didn't protect it the first time? Yeah, well, so those are the things that you need to to think about all right we're going to come to the questions we have a great section that we have time at the end for question and answer but i'm this is a, this, so these sessions are about half about an hour long 
tops. So let us keep going. So Ukzala went bad. And I'll have a, a whole a talk on just Ukzala went bad so that you guys can understand what it means exactly. But it's about Ukzala went bad. Ukzala went bad is when you are born with a particular spirit which either did or did not live. Now, typically, most of the time, you guys are told that oh, Zara Webet is a spirit that lived before. Ha. Sometimes it's a spirit that didn't get the opportunity to live before. Oh, Zara Webet, the child that was miscarried or aborted before your birth. Right? So now, as I've said, Ukoti, even after the cleansing, you've resolved the issue of the child that was aborted or miscarried before your birth, you've clothed him, you've named him. Okay, even after that, it is still possible to have more than one soulmate because this person here is my soulmate. But before my birth, there was a child that was lost. Therefore, the other, therefore, if Ngihamba with one or two children that were miscarried or aborted before me, they too have their own soulmates. Right? And then you can end up being attracted to those people as well. Does that mean you necessarily need to entertain it and foster it? No, it does not mean that. Remember what I said, okay? Soulmates require what? Love and attention and behavior to foster the connection. If I am attracted to this woman, other than the woman that is my wife, right? And that is the woman that my brother wants, that I'm walking with. Okay, that doesn't necessarily mean I have to entertain it. That doesn't necessarily mean I have to further it. If I don't entertain it and give it time and energy, what's going to happen to it? Inevitably, it's, gonna, it's going to starve. And if you starve it, what happens to it? It either dies or it becomes so starved that you cannot bring it back to life. It goes into dormancy, as I will say, right? So one of the things that we need to think about, let's hide that current comment, okay, is that it is possible to have more than one soulmate. But not every soulmate needs to become a relationship or even a flame. Okay? And sometimes, my way to this is how is table can arise. But I'm gonna have a whole separate conversation and a lecture that I'm gonna prepare for you guys on just is table. But this is one of the ways in which is table can arise. But my brother in Hamanai Ufuna um for example. Then Uba Miss Table. But this was table is different in the sense that E Josie has blessed it, but in the way it comes about as well. Kuzo Bonagani Uzi Kalendo is about soulmates, not necessarily Usiabonga wants to have his cake and eat it. So Uzala Wembete, and when I say we correct Uzala Wembete, it's about being in unison and not in opposition with the person that you are walking with and moving with. It means that if I decide Uziazin, I know what Ufuna Koskas was speedy, and that is the woman you're attracted to, but I don't want to entertain it. This is where we're going. We can move this particular direction. But if I haven't corrected Uzara Wembete, then we're no longer in unison. We are in opposition and we are in conflict. You see, that is what we mean when we say we're fixing or we are correcting the issue of Uzara Wembete. Okay, cool. This is a very interesting slide and a very important one. I think it's, yeah, it's the, it's the second last slide, okay? When we talk about intimacy and spirituality, there's many rumors that go around the Wuti. Oh no, Maulana no Muntu, what's up niggas is nyama, no, when you sleep with somebody, they're gonna take from you, what what I'm doing, okay? Let me briefly explain. The, the premise of intimacy and spirituality. If you guys go back to your high school days, you'll remember this thing we were taught about, you know, in, in, in biology or life sciences, that's what it's called. It's got the cell membrane, and then with the cell membrane, it's about how permeable is the cell membrane. When you say permeable, how, how, how many things can flow to and from? How many things can flow through it, right? What you need to understand 
is that intimacy is an exchange of spiritual energy, regardless of whether or not you are using a condom or you are not using a condom. Intimacy is an exchange of spiritual energy. Okay? Now, what does what does science say? Science says that whatever's on the left and whatever's on the right must balance. So if you and an individual come together, right, the spiritual energy on the left and the spiritual energy on the right can now exchange what will happen? Equilibrium. So if he has 50-50 dark, you have 50-50 dark, guess what's going to happen afterwards? You'll be 50% light, 50% dark, you'll be 50% light, 50% dark, okay? That is the premise. There will always be an equilibrium in exchange of spiritual energy. If when I do what, so I want you to understand that if I am siabonga, I don't have any sins, I don't have anything in and I sleep with someone who's got many sins, lead, who's not pure, when we are intimate, we will leave, right? on the same level in terms of equilibrium. We will leave the same, okay? I will have acquired a bit more of Ugnola. He will have lost a bit more of Ugnola. Because why? Equilibrium. So now because Abelap, they understand this, how do you then, the question remains, how do I use intimacy for my own spiritual gain. It is go go back to science. How does how do you control what moves across and what doesn't move across? You have something called facilitated diffusion. You use imiti and imbad. Now, instead of there being equilibrium, because minajeng or siabonga. I've taken meat essentially within my membrane. I have these little, um, I can't remember what they call facilitators, right? I can now control what goes out and what comes in, right? And you see, that's what the body does as well. Sometimes things are fully permeable. Sometimes the permeability says, okay, fine. This, the, the small ones, the big ones can go out but these small ones can't go in, and vice versa. Sometimes they're like, okay, cool. We're permeable enough for this to go out, but we can't have anything come back in. So umundu, let's say someone who's a, who kills Inka, for example, right? But see, ham biolala no go sleep with someone who keep his nyam. What they will do, the healer will give them in meat in zin, okay? in such a way that when I sleep with you, I know that oh, I've got these things here. Do you see these things? These facilitators, right? Oh, go see, pump is nyama out, okay? But let in, okay. And is nyama cannot come back. Is nyama sake cannot come back this way. All the answers we need are in where? Science. That's where all the answers are. Okay, so take it back to your days of biology. When you learned this, if if you want to understand intimacy and spirituality, go back to your biology from high school. The premise works the exact same way, right? If yourself and the person are coming together and you both, neither one of you have these facilitators of diffusion, these things that facilitators into, then all that will happen after intimacy is equilibrium now let's take it back to today's conversation people when they want to create soul ties they have these facilitators in place they have these facilitators in place in such a way that they can release right lendoyabo to create the connection but the facilitators block your spiritual mechanism from fighting back. Because in Gitti, the, the purpose of a facilitator is to create a difference in potential, right? You want to create one space which has got a bit more concentrated, a bit more concentrated than the other side. So what do you do? You put in a facilitator. You put in something that is going to get it across, but it's also going to stop 
equilibrium, which is the natural process. It's the same with Abanda Baganga, Abanda Batwalai, with and they sleep with somebody, right? They put these facilitators in. So now what we do, or what not myself, because I'm not a specialist in it, when we say that we are severing these soul ties, Sikipili, so or we are Sangeza, right? Is we are actually removing that which you have obtained from these facilitators and we're bringing you back to equilibrium. That is why I always encourage people. That is why we have the herb amatoons. That is why we usually couple it with istrito or indeles. More particularly, istrito, but it's istrito can be sexually transmitted as well. So umuntu can literally pass on istrito sake onto you, and then they are freed of this istrito because of these things, such as these facilitators. That's why um, we said. That's why one of the big, one of the herbs that we had to had to definitely include in our list of herbs is le estrito and le yamatuns, so that you can cleanse yourself because you don't know if the person I'm in, being intimate with, do they have these facilitators or do they not have these facilitators? Yeah, well, um, okay. All right, let's try to get through some of these questions. All right, okay, I wanna go for the questions, not necessarily the comments. Um, okay. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, okay. Um, let's see, what does this one say? Nkuru, I mean, I have been with my man for 12 years, but there was no peace sometimes, um, and even if we fight, I will always run to him. Hold on, I've been with my man for 12 years, but there was no peace sometimes, and even if we fight, but I'll always run to him. It's like there is no life without him. Mkulu, please help. Who are you referring to when you say him? Are you talking about a man other than the one you've been with for 12 years? I'm, I'm a little confused. Um, dark energy. Um, Right, that is what I thought, but six months of no sex and still having the infections. Yeah, no, we definitely need to have a session with you. Um, okay, I can't wait for his, the one of um, on his Tim Busegios. Okay, Togo and I was in a relationship with a man for the past few months, but now things are not okay to the point where we no longer chat, talk, or call each other. But for a few days after the tension, I dreamed about his father whom we have never met, he's no longer living, asking me to go fix things with him. I'm so scared to tell, but it bothers me every time. It needs advice. Togo was the All right, so this is a lovely dream. Basically, Iyosi of his side of the family are telling you that, look, if you go try and fix things, we are on your side and we're working with you guys for you guys to get back together. However, body, mind, and spirit, right? Winning the battle on the spiritual front only it sets you up nicely to win the battle on the emotional and mental front. What they are telling you there is that the spiritual battle is not there. Are mental and emotional, which is a good thing to know. Can't fight a battle on two fronts, what I always say. Right? Let's go to the last slide. Let's go to the last slide. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, removal and severing of soul ties. First of all, like I said, access needs to absolutely stop. It is unhelpful for you to go get it removed and severed if you're still giving these people access to you, right? Access, sometimes access is enough. Yeah, well, sometimes Abandu, they have this thing where their soul tie only requires you to be with them. And when you stop spending time with them, your bodies, then what happens is because you're no longer exposed, and if this person had these facilitators, so it's pumping those specific ones out, your body is no longer exposed to that. Your body and spirit on its own can return to equilibrium. On its own can return to equilibrium. Sometimes it's enough. So when you want to remove or, or sever a soul tie it will all depend on how it started how did it begin right and if it began with if it was 
in other words, entry level through the mouth, typically it's got to go out through the mouth or palace. If it was layo putting the person rubbed their genitals or they rubbed it on their skin and then you were intimate with them, then it will be like an external cleansing that you need to do specifically. Yeah, well, entry, removal always always depends on, exit always ends up, depends on entry, okay? Um, I always say start with herbs and a herbalist before you progress. Reason being, same with um, medical sciences, before, before you go to your specialist dermatologist for your skin, what do you do? You start with your pharmacist to see what's okay, fine, maybe that cream for 50 rand or 200 or 100 rand will work on my skin before I go to a doctor, before I go to a, a specialist and spend 1,500 rand for a consultation. I always say to people, make start with the herbs, which is why we have herbs as well, is, is because we're going to say, okay, fine, why don't we give people the opportunity to start with herbs, try those out at a much cheaper price than going to cleanse with a sheep or a chicken or a goat? Yeah, well, start with that. And obviously, if you have no access, you're starting with some light herbs, even if it doesn't remove it completely, at at least weaken it and it will, it will remove, it will begin the process of removal from it. But in terms of Igiso, how Igiso works, the types of Igiso, that is going to be next week when I talk about love potion with the difference between Ikorobela and Ukiya. So maskuluma Ukiya umudu wakumuzi and sikulumange and understanding exactly how does love potion work? What does love potion do? Where does it come from? Why have we even come up with love potion? Yeah, well, so those are the kind of things that we're going to talk about next week, Sunday. Guys, Sundays, 12 o'clock, we're going to be here. Sundays, 12 o'clock, we're going to be here. Um, okay, I've got six more minutes to answer some questions. All right. Mm -hmm. I wanted to I'll go back to this question. Can we, our ancestors, connect us to certain people to gain some sort of power from their bloodline? And the answer is, it's not a gain of power. It's an exchange of power. Is it? Let me explain. There's a difference between, when you say gain, you're making it seem like it's a one-way street, right? It's an exchange of power in the sense that Let's say, okay, let me use my family as well. Tinagam Kizu obviously have Ubunyaka, Ubat, right? Which is Layobongo. Then, my wife's side of the family, they have more of Ubu Prophet, Tim Tanda type of thing, okay? Now, if you, if you put those two together, you get someone who's got the best of both. In other words, our kids, right? So it isn't necessarily a gain of power from their bloodline, but it's an exchange of power from their bloodline. Your family has things that will be good for them, and their family has things that will be good for you. And by Yabo Kanjam, so it doesn't necessarily a gain, but more of an exchange um, of power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. Okay, this is a bit of a lengthy one, but let's 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 tuck into it. I have a person who my ancestors connect me to have not met the first time weirdly met. Um yeah, the, the thing is it's 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 cut off at the end here and it's it's yeah, it seems like it it that'll need a session. My relationships do not last when I consult, they tell me my ex put Stina, so my relationships do not last. When they say that your ex put a Stina, then they if they then they must either remove it themselves or they must send you someone to someone who can remove it. Yeah, well, that's that's what you do. You diagnose, and if you can't cure it yourself, you, you refer them to someone who can cure it. Right? So I like I dreamt of a yellow bit of a brown python snake conversation for another day. Also, yeah, dreams are tricky because we only have half the story. We need context, and I need other dreams that have happened before that. Togo will say, well, I have a problem. Ever since I've moved into my new home, I constantly get sick on Sundays. I get so tired in such a way that I can't even get up in bed. But on Tuesdays and other days, I'm fine. 
can you help thanks so some of course it's very difficult for me to give you um but off the top of my head with absolutely no informational background on you usually maukula on that particular day what i would do is i would ask myself in our family history what is the one ritual that we'd always do on a sunday because chances are you've stopped that ritual or chances are your grandmother or grandfather who always maintained that ritual has now passed away so you've stopped it it might be church it might be sunday lunch it might be a braai it might be cooking it might be cooking with a three legged pot there is a tra- off the top of my head i'm going i'm really just spitballing here i have no idea about your family history your life i would say what tradition was being done in your family on a sunday and you no longer do it that's what that is what i would do that is what i would do um will there be a recording must be quarters of it earlier for some reason i think it'll be on the page i'm not sure what happens to stream yet but i think it'll be on the page um okay um to was I'm cool do last one for the day and then i got to so was I'm cool i'm in a relationship with a spiritually gifted man now i need to know that abantu abatala gave approval to this because he's a married man mm. hit um okay so very difficult to answer right um if he wants is tembu now what i will say is let him go through the right passage of having his tembu okay if yena efunus tembu because uhamba ne kesha and the location had his tembu let him follow the correct procedure to have his tembu sit the family is down sit his first wife down and say i would like to have his tembu that's what i would say you should follow through right um how you handle it and the level of dignity and the level of respect given to the first wife and the families will determine the spiritual foundation of the relationship and that will determine how each of us or abanda batana feel about lesos temp right i hope that answers your question if not we can always have an online session with myself and um and the gentleman in question but we to thank you so much for joining me um this after this morning thank you very much for that um oh, afternoon sorry it's 12 <laughs> thank you so much everybody for joining me this afternoon for another for another online class of myself with Shabon and Kize we will be back next week sunday where we were going to be talking about ee so specifically love potion and soul ties so that you guys have a better understanding of that and i hope leaving this conversation i've taught you about the spirituality the spiritual consequences of intimacy but at the same time I don't give you problems with no solutions. So if you would like those herbs, the herbs are very simple guys. Just to answer your questions, number 1, you can share them with family. Number 2, I have used some of them on my kids and they are perfectly fine. They haven't had any reactions, they were okay. Um number 3, you can travel with them and use them elsewhere. So let's say you're going to a hotel, you want to you want to cleanse with at the beach, you want to mix it with beach water and the herb sea water and the herb that's also fine you can do that as well um we we have run out but tomorrow morning we are going to be printing more instruction cards that come with the herb um and of course if you want an online session all the herbs info at spiritanimals.co.za that's info at spiritanimals.co.za go to my bio and you can book there and I have good news we have a new fresh batch of herbs that is currently getting ready and they're preparing they just need to cure for i think 6 or 7 days and i think i think it's like day 2 or 3 but we'll post pictures and stuff like that so you guys can see properly thank you so much for your time everybody have a lovely day to us and magwande